Hello there. So today I'll be covering a project called SheBot. Uh, these guys at the moment raised nearly 400 BNB within the pink sale pre-sale itself. And as usual, I'll be doing my sort of like a deep dive into the project itself. And I'll be sharing with you all my thoughts and findings on the project itself. So as you can see, uh, this is a this is a website of a project that she bought. Now what? is it all about so the sort of like a general idea it is once again to create the sort of like a crypto token that is related to ai based variety of products ecosystem of products and if you go through the website essentially essentially uh, the team is promising several different use cases a uh, few of them being ai filmmaker so she bought filmmaker uh, will have many benefits in, in filmmaking for one it will allow filmmakers to create more complex and realistic visuals without the need or for expensive sets or equipment it will also enable filmmakers to try new ideas that would not be possible using traditional filmmaking techniques uh, text to video uh, sort of like a features so according to them uh, somehow they'll make this AI a thing where essentially you'll be able to just write down a few sentences some sort of like essay describing what you want to see what you want to sort of like happen uh, in the video in the movie and somehow it will be able to generate it for you looking further it plans to have AI transformer uh, Shibot AI so Shibot transformer is AI powered video generation engine that lets you turn your ideas into visually engaging stories you can start by incorporating your own images, uploading personalized music and directing camera movements for your videos. The tool has easy to use controls that allow you to unleash your creativity and make longer videos. So once again, uh, text to video features and essentially you can just sort of like a write um, smash anything and everything together and apparently this AI uh, tool made by them will be able to output more or less anything and everything you want uh, you'll be able to create a full-fledged videos from scratch uh, further on uh, ai art so it is one of the many artificial intelligence Im image generators that have emerged recently unlike dal e2 uh, shibot art offers more realistic fantastic art style at your request it might appeal to those working in sci-fi literature on art that need more for gothic feel shibot art is more like a painting tool and uh, once again it will have a maximum resolution of up to 8k and lastly uh, these guys plan to have she bought atms all over the place and uh, not sure in what country or where, where it will all start uh, but uh, there is a mention of uh, she bought atms so essentially essentially crypto teller machines or digital currency machines that will allow users to buy and sell meme coins you'll be able to essentially uh, buy cryptocurrencies through these sort of like uh, atms and lastly they plan to have these so-called ai teachers uh, i'm assuming that's how it will look like so uh, she bought a teacher can quickly process and generate information saving time by improving efficiency for both teachers and students by allowing immediate feedback and quick access to information through automation it creates valuable time for students uh, to focus on other tasks and one comes about sort of like a products and services uh, that she bought plans to sort of like a develop or execute that's about it when it comes about their website you can see there is three percent tax a hundred million token supply uh three percent on buys and sells a little bit about the tokenomics i will cover the tokenomics as we go through the pink sale pre-sale itself if we look at their goals and plans they, at some point they plan to have staking uh she bought atms ai teachers all those sort of like products developed further developments of the website uh, launch on other sort of like a trading platforms and all that stuff and when it comes about the website that's about it now if we go into their white paper uh right away we're being introduced to a sort of like a youtube video where you can actually see the sort of like a presentation about the project itself uh there's a li little article about them uh doesn't really tell a lot about them it just uh shows you their official contract and a link to a pre-sale itself 
it presents the roadmap uh, the roadmap that essentially you can see you can see sort of like within the website uh, with all the sort of like a main features and products being rolled out in a phase four uh, latest phase now when it comes about the products or uh, solutions once again use cases so ai filmmaker uh, the one that was mentioned within the website ai transformer uh, the tool where you essentially just mash um, anything and everything you want and it creates stuff for you uh, ai art um, picture generator that apparently is better than dal e2 and uh, and she bought atms all over the place uh, with ai teachers as well and looking further uh, there is a mention of partners uh, fakes tokenomics contract source codes and stuff like that there is no mention on on the staking looking into their investment proposal analysis analysis of what we have in front of us so these have uh, guys have a badge meaning that the contract meets meets a certain criteria to be considered safe they have audit badge meaning that their contract was audited by a third party for any errors or mistakes and they have keys badge meaning that one of the owners behind the project was doxed just in case if there is any fraud now the pre-sale is over uh, so far they raised 431 bnb and there was 850 investors looking further as you can see uh there is there is there is one one billion one trillion of total supply 30 percent of it allocated for the pre-sale 17.6 uh, percent allocated for the liquidity now it is important to mention that it's a soft cap of 25 bnb pre-sale and as you saw they raised 431 bnb so downside to that there was no limit to how much they can raise uh there is a a high a high likelihood that there will be no buying pressure because everyone went in early now it is important to mention that only 60 percent of the pre-sale funds will actually go into the liquidity pool meaning the team will be keeping 40 percent of 431 bnb that was raised now they also have affiliate program so those that essentially used it uh it invested generated the link and got three percent on top if someone was investing as well through the link that they generated with their own wallet looking into the tokenomics so 30 percent pre-sale 17.6 liquidity 10 percent community incentives 10 percent cx 10 percent foundation reserve 10 percent ecosystem 10 percent development 0.6 percent locked 1.76 percent burned looking further it is important to mention that most of the tokens most of these portions of 10 percent uh are unlocking at more or less at the same time and there's no vesting schedules uh, meaning every single of these 10 percent portions will be unlocked in a single go and they will be at full disposal disposal for the use of the developers for one reason or another which is not good that is a red flag looking further into the audit so there's no main function owner can't change fees over 25 percent owner can't set max transaction fees owner can't change trading status and owner can't blacklist exclude people from using this token when it comes about their social media reach and presence so these guys on youtube as you can see 12 subscribers a single video that was made seven days ago with 730 views and that's the video that you can see within the pink sale pre-sale itself uh, they also have twitter uh, 51 people actively following them 13,000 followers apparently and 63 tweets now uh, they also have telegram 8.3 thousand members and they have Instagram with 12 posts of 4,100 4, followers and zero people actively following them. Going back into the pink sale, as I mentioned, they have Safu audit and keys badge. So if we look at these badges, so keys verification was done by the pink sale on March 28th on uh, one member of a team. Uh, audit was done by Block Safu, as you can see, for informational mistakes, more or less quite a standard uh, sort of like a transaction based uh, token. And that's all there is to it. And uh, uh, Safu certificate was given out by Coinsult on March 28th eighth um and it was given out um, because apparently the contract meets all of this sort of like a criteria to be considered somewhat safe
Now, when it comes about these sort of like a personal opinions, thoughts, and findings uh, about this project, starting with the pink seal pre seal itself, important to mention 40% of the raised funds will go towards the team right away. So, essentially, investors, you know, losing 40% of their funds will have to wait for the sort of like a price pump. Now, quite a lot of people invested early. Uh, it won't be easy to lift off because it was a soft launch. Uh, another red flag, as I mentioned, none of these portions are sort of like uh, under any form of westing schedules. They will all be unlocked in full. Now, why would you unlock everything in full? There is no reason. Obviously, let's say if you want to do sort of like uh, things in the long term responsibly, you won't be spending 10% of your marketing funds or 10% of your development fund funds all in one go. Uh, so, you know, that is obviously a red flag. Now, in terms of contract 3% uh, buy and sell fees, uh, the sort of like uh, unfortunate part, uh, as we went through the white paper, of course, there is no mention, there is no even mention of where those 3% of the transaction fees will be going to. And, uh, you know, make no mistake, 3% of, of the transaction taxes, it's, it's a lot. It's insanely a lot. There's projects um, within the crypto space that are essentially doing nothing. And just because, just because their tokens are generating tens of millions of dollars in trading volume every 24 hours, they're making millions just from the transaction fees. So not knowing where those 3% will go is a big deal. It is really big deal. Now, with that being said, uh, as I mentioned, there was a mention of staking within the white paper. There is there is no mention of staking. What will be the staking? What will be the percentages? Who knows? When it comes about the main sort of like a projects, uh, once again, uh, you know, another sort of like a project that will be using AI. We'll be using AI uh, there and here and so on and so on and so on. Now, AI, at least at this point of time, uh, GPT-4, uh, the one that you can find uh, in open.ai website um, is essentially a machine learning algorithm that was fed information up to September 2021 and essentially it learned that information and more or less can answer or generate any sort of like information you want based off what it was fed. Uh, these guys, if you follow what essentially they are implying that they will create or that they already created is that essentially they will have this AI, next level AI, that apparently will be able to somehow create movies based based of the sort of like a text that you input into it. So, you know, you just write some sort of like essay, it will be able to turn it into a movie. You mash some sort of like a useless stuff and some texts, it, it will be able to sort of like a transform everything. Uh, you know, um, obviously, obviously everything sounds nice, but uh, especially in the crypto space, you have to be skeptical. Uh, a lot of scams. So they're not sort of like a trying to be realistic they're trying you know to to get you to get you into the project at all costs what are they promising you it doesn't matter to them as long as you get in so you have to be skeptical at all times and uh, you know when you hear all this stuff obviously it sounds nice but how realistic is it at least at this point Artificial intelligence, the one that we have, is at the stage where it can answer any of your questions up to September 2021. It's not at the stage where it can go into the internet, uh, into various different platforms and sort of like a track, um, latest data, latest changes in the market, latest sort of like any events are happening and stuff like that. It's not at the stage where it can you can essentially just write a sort of like a sentence and AI can create essentially a whole movie out of it. It's at the stage 
where you can write these sort of like a several 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 words descriptions of what you want and maybe just maybe it will create some sort of like a poor version of this fox that's what where it's at at this point of time what these guys are promising it's, uh, it's sort of like a next uh, stage and uh, you know you need to be somewhat skeptical like is it realistic now if you look at the project itself uh, you know uh, first and second sort of like a product that these guys have apparently have uh, I would be really really skeptical if these things actually exists uh, I'm not sure about that uh, there is no sort of like uh, you know test versions there is nothing to try there is nothing to see uh, apart from website apart from some sort of like a nice videos that uh, or, or pictures that someone was spending several days making uh, there is no sort of like an actual presentation of tool that they are sort of like a trying to sell trying to imply that they have an action there is nothing at this point so you know you need to be extremely realistic of what uh, can actually be done um if, if it's even necessary to be it to be done and you know uh, the sort of like uh, first product AI filmmaker and second product of their system um, I think it is extremely questionable if this technology even exists uh, at this point of time unless unless there is something that they can actually present something that they can actually present something that you can actually try yourself uh, I would sort of like I say that uh, personally that at least at this point of time these things don't really exist unless of course they can prove differently <clears throat> now when it comes about AI art uh, you know uh, DAL E2 uh, we already tried uh, AI generated pictures uh, from other sort of like projects uh, I tried on uh, with artificial intelligence to create those pictures myself Obviously, it works, uh, but it doesn't work at that stage where those sort of like a pictures would be extremely nice, um, that it would be sort of like a sellable and stuff like that. You can't really sort of like a consider it at art. Obviously, it works. It finds the stuff that you want that somewhat meets the description, somewhat it's nice, somewhat it's uh, just a waste of time. But, uh, you know, once again, uh, who knows if it's um, if the sort of like a stuff that they promise uh, to do is even at the stage where it could be done in a sense because obviously obviously the sort of like a whole technology is at its beginnings obviously it will get to that stage later on but it's not where it's at right now so once again who knows maximum re resolution of 8k ah uh, she bought ATMs, uh, the sort of like idea, to cover the whole place with ATMs. Now, just out of sort of like a curiosity, obviously, once again, the sort of like idea, like with other sort of like a crypto projects, we will, will, will open this whole chain of restaurants all over the country and so on and so on. And then when you look at the project, there is just $20,000, the cost of opening uh, some sort of like a restaurant where they, they, they would be able to sort of like accept crypto payments for whatever reason, the cost is literally $80,000. So once again, on the same comparison, if you just Google the stuff, uh, let's say, what would be the cost of a single ATM? Any guesses? So if you if you sort of like a Google the stuff, apparently apparently a single cost of a fiat based ATM can be anywhere from from fifteen hundred dollars up to ten grand. And that's the fiat ATM, ATM that accepts a uh, few currencies, mainly mainly dollars, euros, uh, pounds, sterlings, and that's about it. That's the stuff that you see all over the place in streets uh, for the last 10-20 uh, years. And that's the stuff that everyone uses. Now, the assumption that you could make is that um, uh, ATM that accepts cryptocurrencies obviously it's different it is something new and it will cost more than the standard atm that you see all over the place it won't be let's say 
you could say on average something like let's say $2,500, it will be more. Now these guys, these guys have the sort of like a plan to have those uh, she bought ATMs all over the place. And if we look, if we look at the stuff, um, so there is 431 BNB, 431 BNB, let's say $220 per BNB. Uh, you know, they'll be keeping 40% of that. Do they actually have the funds to do any of it? Of course not. I mean, uh, you know, maybe they could sort of like a do like 10 of those ATMs and what about them? Uh, how are they going to profit from any of those ATMs? Are they going to charge some sort of like a fees people for using those ATMs? Uh, there is not a single mention within the white paper. There's, there is literally nothing. We'll just place ATMs all over the place. Uh, how are you going to do that? How are investors going to profit from any of that? There is literally no mention on any of it, which is uh, really, really bad. And of course, of course, we have the sort of like a Shiba puppy that apparently will be teaching kids uh, and will have this AI incorporated technology. And uh, I mean, you know, uh, who really cares at this point? Uh, once again, how are you going to profit from it, uh, how it will work, why it will work, etc. So once again, once again, one of the sort of like a projects that has the sort of like a beautiful website, uh, beautiful logos and stuff like that, and, and uh, not a lot of answers. Well, obviously, the sort of like ideas are nice and, uh, you know, you can sort of like a think and dream anything you want. But at some point, you need to sort of like ask yourself, like, just how realistic is it? How exactly are you going to do that? How will it profit investors? And when it comes about this sort of like a story, uh, the sort of like a side of realism, um, I would be extremely skeptical if if vast majority of the sort of like a main products within their ecosystem that they're planning to create even exist even if there's sort of like ability for them to exist at this point of time maybe in the nearby future maybe who knows uh things are sort of like a developing at exponential sort of like a speed right but not at this point and when it comes about uh, she bought ATMs, of course, you know, it's a somewhat of a joke. I mean, you know, you could say $3,000 uh, per single ATM uh, or even more because it's cryptocurrency ATM. And, and you know, the budget they have, so, so they will place 10 of those ATMs. And what about them? Uh, how investors going to profit from those ATMs? Will, 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 will the customers have to pay some sort of like a transaction fee or stuff like that every single time they use them to exchange fiat into cryptocurrency or vice versa? Like, what's, what's the profitability? Um, and that's the sort of like an issue with the projects like that. But then the white paper, apart from sort of like a few nice pictures, like literally, in terms of sort of, sort of like a products and use cases, you have this single sort of like a page. Single page that doesn't tell you more than the website itself. There is no explanation of how they're going to make it. There is no way to sort of like a, a try it. Uh, there is no sort of like a profitability plan. There is more or less nothing. There is nothing, just a nice pictures. And, and because of it, I would stay I would stay extremely extremely skeptical and uh, cautious and and those those are the sort of like a thoughts so by all means I feel free to agree with me I disagree with me I leave a like comment dislike subscribe and that's all there is to it so as usual uh feel free um Anything I see is not a financial advice, uh, just my personal opinion only. And uh, that's all there is to it. Thank you for your time today.